Hey everybody, it's your uh, your favorite COVID-19 worker. And uh, I watched The Midnight Gospel. And I would say I watched it last night, but I watched it all day. I'm not going to lie and say I didn't turn it on in the morning. Watched a little episodes during work. Finished it off at 3 o'clock. And... I don't I don't want to like go and say the obvious like whoa it's trippy dude, but it 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 is absurdly human, and I think that's what they're going for, cause the idea of the character being so human and the characters he interacts with are very human, no matter what type of being they are, because they're all. With his reality maker makes alternate Earths, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of, kind of, you know, pay, half paying attention. But uh, he goes to different Earths and he meets like, he, he meets different people and all the audio. And I'm, and I'm not, I'm going to say this, the first part episode, the first two episodes, they're, they're his podcast. All the episodes are taken from his podcast and I like them, and I think the later they went on, the better they got. But I had a very, very hard time watching the first two episodes because I feel like they didn't, like... I didn't realize that the characters were people. So I'm like, why is he talking to the president about this? I'm so confused. And that's kind of the problem is it, your mind doesn't you you kind of want to know about the world you want to know about what's going on in the world but the more you kind of go to the episode the more it kind of transcends the the world is a background character doing its own thing and he's interacting with a character and you you kind of learn what the dichotomy is of the creature versus its its environment through background but the way they're talking i did i like the president i was like why is he talking to a president about this and then the second episode he's talking to the dog lady and i'm like what the fuck why is there a dog talking but you know the more i got there the more i kind of listened you know i i got it and 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 i didn't realize like how entertaining like duncan trussell actually is because like i said it's from his podcast and i didn't i didn't think about that because i didn't even know who this guy was i know who dan Harmon is but the art style can be a little grading it can be a little weird but they have like some really good conversations and i i even kind of took it took some of them to heart like the last episode fucking killed me at like three i'm like why am i up at three o'clock you know fucking balling my eyes out like a baby but each episode is it's weird because there's a story going on and I and a lot of times the dialogue when the story is going on it, it's weird because there's like a there's like an episode where the machine malfunctions and it's a an episode there's episodes with people so you're like okay but whenever he talks to the creature that's part of his cast so there's definitely like two different types of writing where it can definitely like not flow well. Because there's like the one episode that sticks out. But each episode, because I, I, I want to rewatch them, but I more want to listen to the podcast and get to that. He's like, oh, like the, the, the story is the character's avoiding his, he's from Earth. He's avoiding his real life problems by going into other Earths and dealing with things. And that's, that's okay, you know? Like, that's, that's a good story. That's, that's the arc is he kind of like, go through this, like, big fish journey, and I'm talking about the movie, like, and in the end, he just kind of ends play, he just kind of goes somewhere, and I want more, and it's not because of the art style, it's, it's just because I like hearing this man talk, I just like hearing him talk, I, I like hearing what he has to say, he, he, he vibes, like, I'm not a trippy person, I, I do have a little bit of a a off-centered mind to where I do say weird things. I say, you know, different. I talk a little weird. I, I definitely exist in my own plane of reality. And, and I it's like, oh, you're a dork, you know, like by my family. And I don't know if I really ever, like, talked about people. But I, I listen to them talk about, like, the, the idea of reality and all this other shit. And it, like, it kind of fucks with me because, I don't know, I just listen 
and it, it's almost a show that you can do either one. But I am you there. There's the more that the podcast and the episodes collide, it is definitely like the first two episodes you can kind of watch and just listen to. But when you get to like the later episodes, you have to be watching. You have to be watching. So it's like you know, and and that's. That was cool. Like, I don't know. I just, I liked it. I originally, like I said, I kind of ranted about the first two episodes, which is why I gave it some time, because I'm like, wow, this show fucking sucks. But I'm like, the more I listened to it, I was like, I actually got some, like, helpful advice about, you know, like, I don't know. There's just some people, they just talk and you listen, and there is a lot of interesting characters there. Like, I don't, I think the last episode is kind of what pricked up my ears, because it's just, oof, big oof, but I really, really think everybody should check it out if they're into that, like, I know it's kind of going to get picked up as, you know, a trippy stoner show, but, like, it almost isn't, because it's almost like, try, like, trying to teach him to be in reality before, you know, you go, before, you know, everybody he talks to kind of gives him insight on existing in now rather than, you know, being in alternate Earths. And and it's weird because, like, they almost do, like, the Steven Universe future thing where he's, you know, avoiding the problem, avoiding the problem, and then he actually explodes, and then it's just like... I don't know, man. Like, I kind of vibed with the show because it... It really be like that sometimes. And I know that, like, when I when I make my videos and stuff, people watch them, people don't. And I make them a lot just to talk to people that aren't there. And, you know, I, 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 just, I just like it. And it kind of, like, it didn't, like, wig me out or trip me out. But more of the... it's it, Reality is more of a trip than, like, a lot of the self-mentioned drugs that people do and just being in reality is so much different because like you can perceive like you can you know you can sit and you can like be lost in a game but you know you look down and look at your arms and it's like oh you know whenever you feel your arms it, it feels weird whenever you perceive your arms and legs you feel them differently than whenever you're just kind of walking around and working and yeah that's kind of how I felt about it, and I, I think if you guys like the show, or if you, you know, take a look at the podcast, because I think him as an entertainer is also interesting, too, because, I don't know, he just, like, I listen to the guy talk, and I'm like, damn, that's a cool dude, I wish I could be like that without, you know, with a little more tamer, but the show itself, like I said, it's pretty to watch, like, there's a there's a lot of like lack of character design that definitely it's over designed, but it's okay it gets okay. Like I think it's supposed to be this like grand grand world and grand planet where it's just like, you know, everything's everything, but in the end it's like the dude's just human. And yeah, it just I recommend it. I, I don't know. It it didn't really like blow my mind with like woo. But it was more like listening to them talk kind of just opened me up a bit. And I don't feel like different. I don't feel like... I just feel like it's definitely one of those shows that if they kept it on the straight and narrow path and just kind of worked with the guy, it could go a lot of places. And, and I even think like the dude himself is very interesting. And I think I like listening to him and Dan Harmon and, you know, more than I do. I don't, I don't, I don't want to use these two terms, but Rick and Morty, and I know a lot of people's gonna be like, whoa, Adventure Time, Rick and Morty, but it's really not, and I don't think, I know they're gonna get compared, but I don't, I don't, I don't think they should, I really don't, because Rick and Morty is about the planet, the adventure, they don't really, like, find anyone sometimes, and really, like, deal with the planet and the world, most of the time they go on a planet, and it's like, pew, 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 pew. Oh, adventure, but this one was just, like, kind of just laying and enjoying the ride and just kind of, like, existing in that world just for a little bit. And and, and there there isn't really a world I would go to. It's not, you know, one of those places. It's just, like, different factors led to different Earths, and that's, 
you know, that's it's just cool. Like, it, it, it almost makes you wonder, like, how far they would go, but I know they also have the limit of the conversation, which... The conversation is the peak of the show, is listening to, like, him talk. And, like, I don't know, I did, that's the, that's one of the, my problems with it, is I wasn't really a fan of, like, the, the other characters, like, I, I like the guy that was, like, farming stuff, too. Uh, there was, like, the dad wizard ice cream, which, that, that's a little too much for me, I, I get it, but it's just like, oh, uh, we're, there's a, we're on flying carpet police, I'm like, Eh, I get it, you know, that's the actual world, but I, I kind of like the stuff that, that, like, could happen rather than being on the alternate world where it did happen, and I, I don't know, I like the show, I think I wanna, I wanted to expand on media more, I wanted to more talk about it and think about it, because the show still has me thinking and I want to rewatch it, but if you guys check it out, you like it, you hate it, give me a give me a heads up and tell me what you thought. And if you're like me and you're already a little a little crazy, already lost your mind a little bit, had those feelings of reality isn't real, and you know things are just kind of as they are, just just give me a heads up and we can talk about it in the comments. Thank you guys. Hopefully you have a good day.